Arts and Crafts with Miss Laura. Today we're going to be making a jellyfish painting with salt and glue. All you're going to need is something to put your art on. I'm using cardstock. You can go ahead and use regular printer paper and or just cardboard. Just be careful because this is going to be a heavy piece of art. Um, we're also going to need pencil, some glue, liquid glue, kosher salt, water, a tray, and then also watercolors. If you don't have watercolors, you can go ahead and dilute some food coloring with water. All right, to start off our jellyfish painting, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw out a rough outline using a pencil. To create the body of the jellyfish, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of create a D, but with the, the bottom kind of as a squiggly. And then create the rest of the D. So that's the head of our jellyfish. And then we're going to create some squiggly lines for his tentacles varying in length and how squiggly they are. have your outline done we're gonna go ahead and grab our liquid glue and we're gonna go ahead and fill all of this in with our glue usually your teachers tell you just a drop not a lot we're gonna throw that out the window today I'm just gonna create an outline of the glue of where I want my design to be and we're also gonna be filling in the top half with the glue you can just go ahead and kind of fill it in with a little bit and then you can just go ahead and kind of use the nozzle of the glue to just spread it around. You don't want to add too much because then it'll make your paper super duper heavy. So we're just going to go ahead and fill all of this in. You can also make your tentacles a little bit thicker if you want or just keep them as thin as mine. Our tray you can use a cookie tray or anything you guys have laying around we're gonna place it on here because we're gonna add on a layer of salt so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up and you're just gonna sprinkle the salt over all of the glue coating it and you can just shake it around to make sure it's all coated and then shaking off any excess onto your tray Now that we have our salt on our glue, it's time to start painting with our watercolors. You're just going to go ahead and dip your brush into the watercolors. Don't forget, you need to activate this paint using water, otherwise it's not going to work. The more wet it is, the better, because you're just going to take your water and you're going to dip it onto the salt and you can kind of see and watch the color spread out. It's okay. If you just I'm just gonna go ahead and dip into the cup. That way it's a little bit more watery and the water can, and the paint can spread out more. You can just go ahead and also, you can keep going on with the same color for a little bit. I'm just gonna switch it up and go into this orange, make it a little bit watery. And we're just gonna go somewhere else on the jellyfish. And you're just gonna just keep doing this with all the colors you want. You can create a design, use the rainbow, use only certain colors that you like. And we're just gonna just dab that on to all the salt. And you can watch it spread. You can put it next to other colors. Put this green next to the red. And watch the colors mix. It's really nice to watch. 